uh, Sierra Leone uh, is interesting because it actually represents one of the earliest uh, uh, congregations of Pan-African development in Africa uh, because originally uh, the area called Freetown, uh, Africans here in Britain were deported because that's what happened. They said there were too many Africans in London. So they gathered them together and their girlfriends, some of them are white prostitutes, took them to Sierra Leone. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Because there weren't a lot of African women there uh, right. here at that time. We're talking about 1780s, 1770s, 1780s. And uh, they were taken there and resettled in Sierra Leone, which was then called the Province of Freedom. Yeah. And then there were Africans who fought with the British against the, uh, against the Americans during the war, their War of Independence in the 1770s, who were free as a result of that, but were settled in Nova Scotia, which is one of the coldest places in Canada, which is one of the coldest places in the world. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of reward you get for uh, fighting for Britain. They settled you in Nova Scotia. And the Africans there complained that they couldn't deal with the climate, they wanted to go home. So they took them again and loved them in Sierra Leone. And uh, Maroons uh, from Jamaica, the Maroons who took up arms against uh, British colonialism, <coughs> signed a treaty with them in the 1750s. Some of them demanded to leave the island. Some stayed in the cockpit, some stayed in that area, maintained their own customs. But some also demanded to go home. So again, they were, some were taken to Nova Scotia first, then to Sierra Leone. Some were taken directly from uh, 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 Kingstown, directly from Kingstown by ship, they have the name of the ship, to Freetown, and landed there in 1793. So you have uh, a collection of Africans coming from all parts of the globe. In the uh, late, I'm sorry, in the early uh, 19th century, in the 1800s, you also had thousands and thousands of Africans who were on their way, who had been captured in the Middle Passage, but were intercepted by anti-slavery squadrons, or who rebelled, like an evolved on the same day here, in the same the Amistad, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, uh, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, we were resettled in Sierra Leone, so you had Africans coming from different parts of the globe, settled in this place called Freetown. And in fact, the, the, the cotton tree, uh, at which uh, used to take the slaves to have the chains knocked off is still there. Yeah. The Maroon Church, which yeah. was founded in 1793, is still there. Wow. Uh, there, was a, there was someone who actually went there, a German a linguist, who went there in 1803 and found 113 different languages being spoken by Africans in uh, 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 an area of about a square mile. Oh, wow. 